Hi, my name is Hunter Ameson. I'm an instructor here at Wings of Eagles. And today we're going to demonstrate a failed engine and how to secure it. All right, so here we're in cruise flight, uh, just like we would be cruising here. Uh, the way that I'm going to go ahead and kill an engine here is some people will come and cut it from the fuel. I like to just cut it from the mixture because it's a little bit easier to get it started back. And if the valve and the fuel tank were to go bad, we would be really stuck with one engine. We're going to go ahead and fail the left engine. As soon as I pull this back, we're going to see a yaw movement. And that's causing, because we've lost the left engine, we're causing the airplane to yaw. All right, first things first is going to be automatically, these are your memory items, flaps up, clean up. We're going to go mixture. Obviously, this one's going to be dead because we killed it. Mixtures, prompts, powers to full. All right, those are your memory items. Now, we need to be looking and identify what's going on here. Well, in our CHT EGT temps, and we know that we're dead foot, dead engine, we're on the right rudder here pretty hard. And our EGTs for the left engine are way less than they are on the right. So we have lost the left engine here. So we're going to identify that just by slowly pulling back the left throttle. Okay, nothing has happened, so it must be the left engine here. All right, now we're going to verify that the left engine is verified, right? We pulled the idle back, and we're going to go ahead and feather it now. Then when we feather, it's going to put in feather. You're going to start to see that props start to slowly stop. All right, now the engine is feathered, okay? So we don't have, it. now the airplane's going to actually be able to hold the altitude better than what it was because without that drag of a, of a windmilling prop. All right, so we're going to come down to our checklist here and securing a dead engine. So mixture is cut off. It, which it is here. Boost pumps for the in-op engine are coming off. Magnetos on failed engine, so the left engine, we're gonna cut, go ahead and cut those off. All right, the alternator is also gonna come off, so you go ahead and cut that off. And the fuel selector could be on off or cross feed. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep it where it is right now on the aux tank. Um, and the cow flaps, we could close them as well. We're gonna keep them open since we're only simulating here. All right, now for an air start, on air start, we're gonna pull out the checklist here. So it's in-op fuel selector is on main or aux. Well, it's on aux here, we left it there. Throttle, we're gonna come up about a quarter of an inch here on the throttle there. All right, carb heat's off, which it is. Magnetos will come back on. All right, magnetos are on. Fuel pump's coming back on. This is right here, the left fuel pump. All right, alternator will come on now. And we'll go ahead and put the mixture full forward. Now, the engine's not running yet because we have to take it out of feather. So once we put this to feather here, we're above 122, so that's our air start air speed that we need. The engine is starting to rotate back up. There it is running. Now, when we want to keep the engine warm, we want to be about 15 inches of manifold pressure, which we are, until we get to our CHTs, EGTs back in the green. And then we can scissors the props or the throttles back.